morning you guys so my name is Megan if you have not been here before um, and I am very very excited to talk to you guys about this because I know that my last challenge that I did on my channel got a lot of good feedback and it helped some of you so I am doing another law of attraction challenge and there's kind of a couple reasons I'm gonna sit why I'm doing another one and to be honest I did keep a lot of the habits that I gained from my last challenge into you know my life but the past about month or so I felt my anxiety creeping back up and I haven't really had anxiety that bad for a long time so I figured it's time to really really practice manifestation and to trust in the universe and to just you know say affirmations and just follow some guidelines to really truly be my most mindful self and I feel like I've never truly conquered my mind and I feel like once you can do that then life is just so so much more peaceful it's so much more relaxing and you can just trust in everything around you you can trust yourself you can be happy alone there's so many things that come with mindfulness so for me conquering that is my biggest goal this challenge however I do have one other goal and it's a very big goal but I know that I can manifest it and it's something that I kind of already am telling myself I'm gonna do so the other goal that I'm going to try and manifest not gonna try the other goal that I am gonna manifest is getting a home either a home or a town home I'm not sure what's gonna pop up for me but I am um, on the lookout for either of those so got some very exciting goals I am very excited to control my mind to really get in touch with my mind and myself and to feel very comfortable being alone, but also to feel very comfortable in situations where my anxiety rises to the surface. So, I woke up this morning and this challenge I will attach down below in the bio of every video I'm making, but this challenge is 30 days long and it gives a really awesome morning and evening ritual. And the morning ritual is to repeat your affirmations to yourself in the mirror, making eye contact with yourself, um, repeat them, I don't know, three to four times every morning. And then the nighttime ritual involves some meditation. So I think this is the perfect way for me to really manifest mindfulness and a home. So I'm very excited. Oh, from my last challenge, I got in the habit of doing like a gratitude journal. And I've still been doing that very religiously. I kind of fell off of it when I went traveling to Mexico, but I'm back on it. And I'm not even kidding, writing down what I'm grateful for every morning makes me so much more positive. But I did write my affirmations and I will share those with you guys right now. Because like I said, I'm trying to manifest mindfulness. So these are the affirmations for manifesting mindfulness. I am calm and in control of my mind. So if you have anxiety or if you feel like your mind is wandering, you can't like get it back to a neutral spot, then this is a perfect affirmation. I will repeat it again. I am calm and in control of my mind. Now my other affirmation is I'm not afraid of what could go wrong. I'm excited for what could go right. And I love that one because I feel like sometimes when we have anxiety, it can lead us down these roads of things that are just so negative and maybe all of our fears are causing those anxieties. At least for me it is. So I know that if I tell myself like, oh, there's so many amazing things are gonna happen. I'm so excited for all of those. And you know what, who cares uh, what could go wrong because there's so many that's going right. So many things going right. So I love that man affirmation. I cannot talk because I need my coffee. But um, yes, so I'm gonna spend this morning, this is the very first day of this challenge, you guys. So I'm gonna talk to myself in the mirror. And yes, it is hard and awkward at first, but you know what? It really truly works and it's yourself. This is your life, your body, your words. So speak to yourself in the mirror. I'm gonna do that right now. And then the today's, sorry, I'm talking so much. 
but um, for days one, two, and three, it's really the the goal is to clean your space. And I know I did that in the last challenge, but for me this time I'm gonna focus more on anything in my place that's bringing back negative memories or if it's striking a negative feeling or I'm gonna look at things in my place more as a um, what kind of feelings it brings me. So that'll be very interesting. I am gonna try and get to a lot of that today. Um, I do have a lot of work to catch up on. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do my affirmation and I will see you guys a little bit later. It has been literally a crazy day, but now I'm getting around to um, eating lunch and I realized how honestly I let my kitchen go. I literally, it's bad. Um, it's very messy. So I figured this is a perfect time to um, put the law of attraction challenge of the day into place right now. I have a lot of work to still do, but I'm like, you know what, this needs to get done. Um, so you know what, don't judge me, but I have this situation I need to take care of. So I'm gonna clean everything right now, and then I think that'll make me feel a lot better. And yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And then I also have one other thing I want to do probably later this evening, um, but I've been painting all of my plant pots white and it just makes me feel happier when they're white and bright. So I'll show you guys all of that later, but I need to clean this ASAP because I don't even have a plate for my avocado toast. So let's get to cleaning. Did all my dishes and I feel so much better already so whew, finally did that that has been weighing over me um, and yeah I'm just gonna paint my pots whenever I get a chance in the next three days and that's pretty much all I can think of cleaning right now hi guys so it is the next day yes I'm still wearing the same sweatshirt but anyway, I am going to spend a little bit of time right now because I'm like kind of just losing some focus with work. Um, I'm going to sit out here on my little patio and paint um, my last pot, my last pot I have. I'm going to paint it white. Um, yeah, so I feel like I just want everything in my room to be very clean and crisp and white and that just makes me feel happier, it makes me feel more organized and calm. So I will show you guys what it looks like and how exactly I am painting it. Alright guys, the pot has finally dried. And I'm very happy with it. I feel like it looks pretty smooth and nice. It was really hard not to get like streak marks. But so anyway, this is the shelf now. I love white. I just feel like white looks so much cleaner. This pot, I was gonna paint it and it's just like way too big. So this basket's kind of perfect because it's like white and basket and I love it. I think it looks so good. I woke up and I did the affirmations. I've been doing that very consistently. The only thing I'm really trying to work on is doing the five to 10 minute meditation at night. I don't know why that is so hard for me to do. I get like so distracted. My mind's always going from one thought to the next. So I'm doing it though and I'm gonna make it work. Um, I'm gonna 
keep on doing it and I'm sure the more I do it the easier it'll be hey guys so I have been very bad at updating you guys on this law of attraction challenge but I've been extremely busy I decided to help foster kittens again and they originally gave me one and then they found the rest of that one's litter so I have four kittens right now so it's quite a handful but they are so cute let me show you a couple of them really quick maybe the one that's not sleeping right now let me go grab her and show you guys okay, I think this might be the cutest kitten I've ever seen in my life come on oh she's hooked on like what look her eyes are blue she's beautiful they like to like hook on when they're little babies like this but she is the cutest thing I've ever seen in her little paws so cute anyway I'm fostering four of them you know what I'm just gonna show you guys the rest because I have to put her back anyway <laughs> they are so cute they run to me like I'm your little mom. You're so cute, my friend. You're so cute. She's like, ah, uh, I know. <laughs> anyway, she is literally the cutest thing ever. But look at her little face. She's so cute. She just, she can't really see very well. I've noticed she stumbles a lot. That's the last one over there, drinking milk with the milk mustache. <laughs> oh no, and then he's gonna try and come and put that all on me. So, so worth it, fostering, it just like makes me so happy. I went to Trader Joe's earlier, and part of the first three days of the challenge is to just clean your place, to find something that brightens your mood, to get rid of things that are dampering your mood and whatnot. So first off, kittens really brighten my mood. But um, I also cleaned my place a lot and I made sure to do my dishes very consistently and things like that just make me feel so much better. So, but I was at Trader Joe's today and I saw the cutest little plant I had to get. It's so cute, it's in a little white pot, which you guys saw I painted all of my pots white. So I was like, this is perfect. And I've been wanting a cactus like this. It kind of reminds me of Mexico where I just came back from. So, really like this. Um, but the days three through five are to set goals and to really like nail down exactly what you're trying to manifest. So, I'm really excited to share that one of the goals I'm trying to manifest is already kind of manifesting itself. So my first goal out of this whole challenge is to become my most mindful self. And to do that, I need to focus on I'm not focusing so much on the things that could go wrong and I need to focus more on the things that can go right and that is actually one of my affirmations I have been continuing to say every morning is that I should be excited about what can go right not be afraid of what can go wrong and that is something I feel that is rooted in my anxiety so I've been focusing a lot on those words and I feel like slowly I'm starting to just focus on all of the exciting things that are gonna happen because there's moments and times where we might not be present, we might not be listening fully, we might be busy, distracted, there, it happens, it's life, we're human. So I'm just trying to focus a little more on making more time to be present for myself. Um, but my second goal is to manifest a home. And this is something that's already kind of unfolding because I put it out there and I told myself it's gonna happen I'm going to get a home um, it wasn't a question for me like I just knew that it was gonna happen and I kept telling myself that and I think that's coming from the last challenge and me understanding I need to think that way um, and this little guy wants to come up here so yeah I think that I just kind of had that attitude going into this that um, I have it already and it's going to happen and so with that attitude I've been able to go and walk through a couple homes with the realtor that we're working with and I've done that two times now with her to get a better idea of exactly what kind of home I want how many bedrooms how many bathrooms the location everything like that and so 
by doing that, I went on to realtor.com, ended up finding a home exactly within those um, qualities that I wanted, and we toured it. There's no offers on it yet, which is crazy because it's summertime and the market's really crazy right now. So that was just like the universe telling me, make an offer, make an offer. So currently we are actually filling out the disclosure forms and we're gonna make an offer. So I'm very, very excited. I think that the universe will point me in the direction for if that is the right home or if it's not the right home, that's okay. Cause like I'm gonna get one eventually and it's gonna happen, so. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This little guy just keeps wanting to come up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or week whenever you're watching this. And if you enjoyed it, I would love if you liked it and maybe subscribed. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks again.